This video will show how to check the nose landing gear shimmy damper to ensure it is correctly serviced. Refer to Chapter 12, Servicing in the Maintenance Manual for procedures to check and service the shimmy damper. The shimmy damper is located on top of the nose landing gear strut. The nose landing gear doors must be open to access the shimmy damper. Refer to Chapter 32, Landing Gear for nose landing gear door removal installation procedures. The shimmy damper servicing check can be accomplished without removing the shimmy damper from the nose strut. However, for instructional purposes, a removed shimmy damper will be used in portions of this video. The servicing check measures the depth of the makeup piston, which is indicative of the fluid level inside the shimmy damper. Due to the limited clearance between the shimmy damper and wheel well structure, a flexible probe will be needed to check the makeup piston. A tie strap makes an acceptable measuring tool for this purpose. Obtain a tie strap at least 6 inches in length with a width greater than 0 .160 inch. A tie strap of sufficient width is required to prevent the end of the tie strap from entering the threaded hole in the center of the makeup piston. Cut off the tapered end of the tie strap to prevent its entry into the threaded hole of the makeup piston. Using a permanent marker, place a mark from the end of the tie strap at the proper servicing dimension called out in the maintenance manual. Insert the end of the tie strap through the hole in the end of the makeup piston retaining cap until it bottoms out against the end of the piston. Check the mark on the tie strap in relation to the end of the retaining cap to verify the piston is in the correct position. An under service condition is present if the mark on the tie strap is below the end of the retaining cap. To better understand what takes place inside the shimmy damper when performing the servicing check, Let's take a look at a makeup piston. Here you can see the threaded hole in the piston. When measuring the depth of the makeup piston, the tie strap will contact this end of the piston. As you can see, selecting too narrow of a tie strap could easily allow the end of the tie strap to enter the threaded hole in the piston, thereby resulting in an erroneous measurement. When a proper size tie strap is used, it will not enter the threaded hole.